Hi, second grade. I'm very excited for today's lesson because today we have a very important lesson. This lesson will help us with our math throughout the rest of second grade, but also for many, many years to come. Now, this lesson is only part one of three parts. Today, we're going to look at the first strategy to help us do two-digit addition. That means problems that look like this. 25 plus 37. So far this year, we have not had any problems with two digits and two digits, but today we're going to learn the first strategy. This strategy involves us using our number drawings that we've been practicing in this unit. When we add, we are going to need to draw both numbers in our equation. So we need 43 and 16. Let's start with 43. I like to draw it right next to the number just to keep it nice and organized. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. And down here, we will put 16. In 16, I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I only have one 10 in 16. Now, the next step is where I count, and I'm going to start with my ones first. So let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. So right under the ones, I'm going to put my number nine. You might want to draw a line between your numbers to show the tens and the ones. You can do that if that's helpful for you. So I had nine ones, and next I'm going to go to the tens. It is very important that we always start with the ones because they're smaller, and then we go over to the tens. Let's see how many tens I have. One, two, three, four, five tens. Don't forget to add all of the tens. So that means that 43 plus 16 is equal to 59. I drew both of my numbers, I added up the ones, and then I added up the tens. That's not too tricky, is it, second grade? Let's move into our second example together. 52 plus 29. Just like last time, we start by drawing both of the numbers. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Now our next step stays the same. We start by counting up the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven ones. Hmm. Now, when I go to put my numbers down, I can only put one digit in the ones place. I cannot write 11 in the ones place because that is two digits. And you know what I'm thinking, second grade? I bet you if I traded in some of those ones, do you think that I could make a new 10? I think I could. Watch this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What if I take those 10 ones and I swap them out and trade them for a 10? I can make a new 10. 
I do need to cross them off though, because if I'm making a new 10, I need to make sure I take away 10 of my ones. Notice how I put my new 10 here in red. Now let's go back to counting our ones. How many ones do I have left after I made my new 10? I just have this one. I have one one left. Now that I've counted up my ones, let's do exactly what we did on the first page and we move over to our tens. Let's see how many there are. We need to count the top tens and the bottom tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tens. Wow, so I can make new tens if I have 10 or more ones. I need to make sure that I cross them off just like I did in this problem, but then I can show a new 10 off to the side. Example number three, second grade, 67 plus 27. Let's draw our two numbers. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. And now I need 27. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Now, just like always, I can separate into the tens and the ones if I like to. I always start adding the ones. Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Is fourteen ten or greater? Yes, it is. So let's take ten of those ones and make a new ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Goodbye, ten ones. And I'm going to put my new ten right over here. Now, since I made that new 10, now I can count up how many ones I have left. Well, I only have one, two, three, four ones left. Now, my next step is to come over to the tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't forget to add our new one. We have nine tens and four ones. That means 67 plus 27 is equal to 94. I had to make a new 10 in this problem because I had 14 ones and I need to make a new group if I have 10 or more. Here's our last equation to practice. 74 plus 13. As always, I start with my drawing. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. And then let's make 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. I always start by adding up my ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Can I make a new 10 if I have seven? No, I cannot. So I can just put the seven right under my ones column. Now I go next door and I add up all of my tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens. So they go in the tens column. In this problem, we did not have enough to make a new 10. Seven is not 10 or greater, so we can just put the seven right under our group. Let's practice two story problems or word problems where we will need to add two digit numbers. Michelle had 43 sunflowers. Her garden grew 18 more. How many sunflowers does she have now? Hmm, so 
Michelle started with 43 sunflowers. And it says that she got 18 more from her garden. If she's getting more, I know that my number's going to get larger. Let's take a look. Let's draw 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Just like on our other problems, we start by adding up the ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <gasps> can I make a new 10 if I have 11? Yes, I can. Let's do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I crossed them out and I made my new 10. How many ones do I have left, second grade? Just one. So I put my one, one under the ones column. That's a lot of ones, isn't it? Now I go over and I count all of my tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six tens. So 43 plus 18 gives me 61. And as always, when I do a story problem, I look for my label. My label is sunflowers. I always look back at my problem to help me find my label. Right, second grade, this is our last problem together today. Kelly has 47 markers. Amanda has 62 markers. How many do they have in all? That means that I'm looking for my total or my king of the mountain. Looking for my king. Let's add up our two numbers, 47 and 62. Let's draw our pictures. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. And 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62. As always, we start with the ones. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Second grade is 9 enough to make a new 10. No, it's not, so I can just put my 9 right at the bottom. All right, that one was pretty easy. What about with my 10s? Let's go over to the 10s next and let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 tens? Second grade, do you remember what 10 tens is the same as? Let's count those tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Wow, so I can trade these tens in and I have made a new 100 second grade. 10 tens is 100. Oh, that means I need to add another column here of hundreds to my equation. We haven't done that yet. Now, since I made this new 100, do I have any 10 sticks left? No, I do not. So I'm going to put a zero there. But now I have 100. That means that 47 plus 62 is equal to 109 markers. In this problem, I did not make any new tens, but something new happened. I took my 10 tens and made them into a new hundred. Make sure that we keep practicing this at home, second grade. It's going to take a lot of practice, but we will get it this year.